Hey, what is up guys? My name is Pointless. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak your PlayStation 3. This is going to be a little bit updated than the uh, previous videos I've uploaded. Um, I know I've uploaded a lot of those videos in the past and uh, believe me, it's not for the money. It's mainly to help you guys. Uh, I always get a lot of comments after I make the videos. So I decided to make a new one updated and it's going to last for about like 10 minutes, 10, 12, 13 minutes, something like that. It's going to be a way longer video. Um, my most viewed video is actually three minutes long or four minutes long. And uh, I just talked about it. So um, right now I'm going to show you guys how to do it. It's going to be a old video just because I don't have my PlayStation 3 right here at the moment. So it's going to be an old video. I'm just going to talk a little bit around it and I will let you guys know if the text on the screen is wrong because it might be so um if the text on the screen is wrong i'll let you know don't believe everything you read on the screen i'll let you know if it's wrong and also a frequently asked questions will be in the comment section below i will pin a comment down below of questions that is frequently answered or asked and answered so hopefully you guys will find your answer there before going down in the comment section and asking because i do get a shit ton of questions on these type of videos and it's always always annoying to uh, answer them and another thing is you have to be on 3.55 to share your PlayStation 3. There's nothing else. I will leave a link in the description below to a video showing you how to downgrade, which means that I'm moving from a higher update down to a lower one, or in this case, down to a 3.55, so you will be able to jailbreak. And also, to finish this video off, at the end of the video, I will talk a little bit about PS4 jailbreaking, because there has been news and there has been small steps towards a potential PS4 jailbreak, and if I'm not mistaken, there's actually one out right now, and there's seen or made multiple mod menus for both Far Cry, and GTA 5 and single player so we'll cover that in the end of the video so uh, let's get right into it So in order to jailbreak your PlayStation 3, you need a 3.55 official firmware PlayStation 3, which as I said in the introduction to this video, anything over 3.55 cannot be jailbroken. And this is really important to know because I don't want to see more comments saying, oh, this is fake or something like that because I did not watch the video. Um, and as I said, if you want to downgrade your PlayStation 3, click the link below. And any video saying that you can jailbreak a 4.75 or above, it's a scam. It's either a virus in the file or it's just something for money and the next thing you need is a USB with over 5 gigabyte you also need some common sense you need to know what you're doing to some sense you can't be completely new to this it will probably sound really weird and you probably will fuck something up and this will take some time it will take some time so make sure you do have some time you want to make sure that you do everything correct you want to spend a lot of time doing it if you do it wrong it will probably mess up your playstation and as i say in every one of my videos if your playstation gets ruined or destroyed it's not my fault you do this at your own risk even though it's a really low chance of messing up your playstation i've done so much to my playstation before i never messed it up might be my luck i don't know but just make sure it's not my fault i saw a comment previously on my video saying yes it is your fault if our playstation gets destroyed and no it's not this is your choice watching this video it's your choice jailbreaking your playstation 3 it's actually pretty simple so once you got all of these things we will jump into the main part of the video where i tell you how to do it All right, so over to the main part. This, you need a PC for. If you don't have a PC, ask a friend, ask your mom, ask your dad, ask anyone. Just make sure you have a PC. And once you have a PC, go to the download link in the description and then download the update file. It will be called something.pup. And it's important to notice the PUP. Now, what you need to do is you need to format your USB to a FAT32. If you need help doing that, use Google, but I do believe it's only right click format and then you choose what kind of format you want to format your USB to, if that made sense. If it didn't, use Google it's pretty simple and then on your USB stick make a new folder called PS3 then another one called update and you want to notice on the text on the screen right here how I spelled it that's why that's how you want to spell it and you want to make sure that you type it exactly as I typed it on the screen which is which is uppercase everything UPDATE and once you have that folder you want to rename the file that you downloaded to PS3 update.pup and you want to make sure that it's the same update spelled the same way sorry that you renamed your folder to earlier now once you 
you've done that, you want to drag your file that you renamed and you want to drop it into the update folder. Now you want to unplug your USB and move over to your PS3. Please note that you do need WinRAR in order to extract the files. Download link can also be found in Google. I really hope that most of you guys have WinRAR. It's a really commonly used extraction software. If not, I do believe the 7-zip that's always on your Windows computer will work. If you're a Mac, you obviously need WinRAR and there's plenty of different choices for Mac that you can download. I'm pretty sure one of them will work and you'll probably figure it out. If you have any questions, just use Google. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, I do believe everyone should have WinRAR, as I said. So if you don't have it, Google it. If there is any other problem, Google it. So uh, let's move over to the PS3. All right, so over on your PlayStation 3, you want to turn it off and you want to enter recovery mode. And if you don't know how to enter recovery mode, I'm going to try to explain it really, really simple here. And if the seagull above me could shut the hell up, that would be very much appreciated. Anyway, you want to hold the power button until one beep is followed by two quick beeps. That means that it's going to beep once and then two rapid quick beeps is going to be followed by that. And once you are in a recovery mode, you want to plug in your controller with a USB cable. A virus controller will not work here. Once you have plugged in your controller with a USB cable, you want to choose the update option on the menu screen. Then you want to follow the instructions on your screen. And once you've done that, you want to make sure your USB stick is on the side closest to the disc. If it's not, it's not going to work. Now you want to wait for the PS3 to do its thing. Once the PS3 is done updating and doing its thing, you have successfully put your PlayStation 3 into a custom firmware 3.55. In this case, a 3.55 rebug. And there's plenty of different versions of a 3.55 custom firmware you can download, but I included the rebug version because rebugs are usually really, really easily spoofed and spoofing means that it tricks your PlayStation into believing it's on a later firmware than it's actually on so you can log on online and play without being necessarily banned and it's if you're on a lower firmware it's going to force you to update so spoofing helps you get past that and a rebug also usually they update their stuff pretty quickly so you can actually update your 3.5 rebug down to a 4 point something um, I'm not sure what PS3 is on now but anyway it's easy all right it's easy nothing more than that and then to make it really really simple the PS4 news about jailbreaking is next. I've already made that commentary because this one kept getting corrupted. I do recommend you to watch that or listen to it. It's the next four to five minutes of the video. It's really, really helpful if you want to get yourself a PS4 or want to jailbreak your PS4. This is really, really helpful information about the release date and stuff like that and how far we've come so far. So I recommend you to listen to that part of the video. But if you don't want to listen to that part of the video, this is the end of the video. If you have any questions, drop them down below. I'm not going to ask you to like or anything like that. You do you. I do me. If you like the video, I mean, sure, drop a like. If you don't like it, then don't like the video. And if you like the video, but don't want to like the video, don't like the video. I think that made sense. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. So the PS4 scene of things have been really interesting. If you go to a website called nextgenupdate.com, you will be pretty much up to date with all the mods that comes out for PS4 and stuff like that. So, so far it's not been too much, but there has been a guy called too much for you. If you have been in the GTA 5 community, I'm sure you heard of him. He has been making mod menus for the GTA 5 community for uh, I think some time now. And he released a GTA 5 PS4 mod menu. And he also released a a Far Cry 4 mod menu for PS4 and he didn't release any download links if I'm not mistaken but however um, you can see on his post that he talks about maybe releasing some codes that people can work on later now what does what this means for you as a normal person that doesn't know all these hacking language and stuff like that like me and just kind of want to mod in games and just have fun this means that we have come further than we have ever come when it comes to PS4 modding and there is no custom firmware yet which means there's no jailbreak yet for PS4 but there has been progress made and that progress has been package extraction and stuff like that if I'm not wrong feel free to quote me down below if I'm wrong and correct me if I'm wrong too I will just pin your comment like your comment so we will get to the top um however as I said it, it's been progress and we come closer and closer every day to actually getting a ps4 jailbreak and hopefully with these kind of jailbreaks there comes or there's a way that you can only play online with people that has a jailbreak because ruining the experience for others has always been a really debated topic for PlayStation three especially with like call of duty and gta 5 with modders being everywhere and stuff like that hopefully this won't happen here but feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel turn on notifications because i will try to cover this as much as i can i bet that these type of videos will be the easiest one to make like the news kind of thing or not really news but updates on ps4 jailbreaks and stuff like that i reckon that will be way easier to make videos of as i'm my schedule is really tight i do a lot of stuff usually most of the time i'm just lazy 
but you know I gotta find a job in real life and I gotta do a lot of stuff and sorry that was my phone but yeah I will leave the topics down below if you're interested in this actually I will leave the next gen update thing down below and so far for non gen brokers um, I said that wrong but whatever there's been a save wizard which means that you can buy it it's really expensive I haven't bought it myself and I don't plan to because it's really really expensive but there's a ps4 save wizard which lets you edit your saves add stats mod stats and just in general do stuff I did this for bloodborne and I ended up with max blood echoes and if you don't know what blood echoes is it's pretty much the money in bloodborne and you know I managed to level up my character all the way and stuff like that and I wouldn't been able to do that for a couple of months ago so we've come pretty far in the modding community and there's also the exploiter thing which lets you resign saves which means that you can download other people's saves and make them your own because PlayStation has that kind of thing where if you download some someone else's save it will not be allowed to be played on your PlayStation it will just say that the save is from someone else and you won't be able to use it and the final thing I wanted to cover was that the 4.50 and 4.55 firmware on PlayStation 4 has been hacked by a guy called QWERTY something I'm just gonna call him QWERTY or Q anyway this Q person um, modded the PlayStation 4 I do believe and he hasn't released anything yet but I do believe he was the first person to actually mod the PlayStation 4 which is pretty exciting so if you want to know more about this I will leave links in the description below I was just gonna cover a little bit about it because I don't want to make this video too long because I know people don't want to watch through like a 15 20 minute video I tried to make my video short as possible which is why I do cut commentaries when I do these videos which might make it sound like I'm talking really fast but in reality I'm not I'm just cutting out my breaks and my breathes so you won't hear them through the microphone because then wanting to listen to and it makes the commentary flow better anyway if you did enjoy this video be sure to drop a like down below i really appreciate it because right now my channel is in a place where it's sort of dead and sort of alive it's like in between so every like will help my video get higher and higher on the search bar and it will get to like a wider audience which is really good so maybe my channel will be a channel again so as i said if you enjoyed this video drop a like down below turn on notifications if you haven't already i don't upload often and you don't want to miss when i upload so yeah subscribe if you're new and have a great day if there's any questions leave them down below and i'll try to answer i'll try my best it's really hard when i get like 900 comments as my previous videos have gotten so anyway i'll talk to you guys frequently asked questions and answers is in the comment section below pinned i'll talk to you guys later bye